Hi, this is Arindam. You are watching Brain Development. The easiest and simplest way to calculate the square of a number has already been shown in the previous video. You may check it in the library. Now, in this video, we are going to explore some tricks to find square roots, which will undoubtedly be a game changer. Let's try with 841. Well, I must tell you, we cannot work with any number. This time, the number has to be a perfect square. Well, the first thing is split it. So whenever you get like three digit number, you can split it like two and one in case of four digit number, two, two, five digit number, two, two, one in this way, right? Now, let us work with this 41, not even 41, we just have to work with this one only. So one belongs to one square and nine square, right? 1 square is 1 and 9 square is 81. So both the cases, it ends with 1. That is clear. And again, we don't know which one to take, whether 1 or 9. We'll definitely get to that. Let us work with this 8. 2 square is 4 and 3 square is 9. So 8 has to be in between these two and always take the smallest number that is 4 and the actual number will be 2 because that is the square root so first digit has to be 2 this is the first digit clear but still we don't know whether to take 1 or 9 the number has to be multiplied with the next number that is 2 into 2 plus 1 okay 2 into 2 plus 1 that means 2 into 3 that is 6 right now 6 is less than this 8 so we have to write 8 is greater than this 6 whenever you see this number is greater than this number this multiplied number you take the greater number that is 9 so your answer will be 29 hope it is clear if it's not yet clear don't worry i'll come to the next one well let's take a bigger number like one three six nine okay as i said earlier that uh, in case of four digit number just split it in this way basically you just have to split it into two numbers and that's it well let's work with this nine nine means the square of seven and three because three square is nine and 7 square is 49 so both ends with this 9 so it has to be 7 or 3 but still we don't know which one to take well we'll come to that later let's work with this 13 3 square is 9 and 4 square is 16 so so definitely this 13 is in between these two and always take the smaller one that is 9 and that means we have to take this 3. So first number has to be 3. Clear? Now still we don't know whether we have to take 7 or 3. We'll come to that. We have to multiply this 3 with the next number that is 4. So 3 into 4 is 12. Right? Now 13 is again greater than this 12. So we have to take the greater number that is 7. Right? So the answer is 37. This is your final answer simple my friend just try this you'll be more than happy let's try with a bigger number like uh, 5329 okay so we know the process that we have to split it this way right so let's work with this 9 now again we know the 9 ends in case of 3 and 7 right 3 and 7 but we don't know which one definitely we'll work with this 53 now now 53 now you tell me 7 square is 49 and 8 square is 64 definitely in between these two so always take the smaller one that is 49 definitely the first number will be 7 right now again we don't know which one to take from this two if we multiply this 7 with the next number that is 8 7 into 8 is 
56 but this time 53 is less than 56 so we have to take the smallest number that is 3 so 73 is my answer let's take a five digit number like uh, 33489 okay it's a big number right okay now how to split this we know this right always same thing now let's work with this nine nine in case of nine again nine right <laughs> so nine belongs to three and seven three and seven right now next number is four okay four in case of four just continue your work in this way same way four four comes in case of two two twos are four and one more number what is that eight okay i must give you uh, a simple trick total of this numbers has to be ten three plus seven is ten 2 plus 8 will be 10 so whenever you get one number next number will be easier for you to find it so 2 and 8 right for 4 and let's work for the 3 1 square is 1 and 2 square is 4 right now we know 3 is there in between these two always take the smaller one so we have to take 1 now again we have to multiply with this with the next number that is 1 into 2 that is 2 but 3 is greater than 2 right so greater number that is 8 so 18 now the thing is up to this it is clear now next part the last part again we have to multiply this 18 with the next number that is 19 18 into 19 now again if you don't know how to multiply these two digit numbers please click on the i button and <laughs> definitely will get to know this so 18 into 19 is 342 now 342 and our number is 334 so 334 is less than 342 so we have to take the smaller one that is 3 so our answer is 183 you like it <laughs> you must like this video and share it with your friends please don't forget to like share and subscribe this channel keep smiling bye bye